Greetings from Cybertron. It is Megatron 38 here, guys, and today we are starting our brand new playthrough of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I've already cleared a profile for us, so we're good to go on that. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys that beginning cutscene because it tells a lot about what the story has to offer. So, without any further ado, let's just get right into this. Alright, we'll go ahead and name this profile. Just the classic Megatron 38, I guess. If it'll fit, that is. I guess we'll just have to go with Megatron. Yep, that'll work. Alright. Now, this episode is going to consist of quite a bit of just um, introductory stuff. So, this episode right here may be a little boring. But, uh, just be patient with it, guys. It'll get good. Alright, here we have another shortcut scene here at Mario's place. Mail call. Is old Luigi going out and check the mailbox? We got something. Hey bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach has arrived for you. That's always a good thing, I guess. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Uh huh. Now, let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on a, I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map, a treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it when you come. Please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Roquart. That means you must come, Peach. Alright, so we've pretty much been forced into another adventure, of course. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with a letter. Check it out. Alright, so this is going to serve as our map for the entire game. Uh, it shows all the locations we'll actually travel to throughout the game. And here, we're going to have our introductory uh, sequence here. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. There's the boat we're traveling on, of course, to get the road port, and we will be there momentarily. So this is kind of like, I guess you could consider this the first chapter in the game, or just the prerequisite to the first chapter in the game. So this is obviously going to be the shortest section of the game. All the chapters are really long, so here we go. Excuse me, sir? Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Alright, so this is from Mario's perspective here. Looks like he's just waking up from a nap or something. Alright, so there's Rogueport. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. All right. So here we are at Rogueport. Have a few of the locals there. I'm just kind of walking around. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I... Did I tell you all the sordid tales about Roadport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You said there's a princess here waiting for you? Is that so? Er, uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Alright, we'll take that as a little bit of advice, but I think we'll be okay. So here we are town of Roadport. This is going to be our main kind of hub of the entire game. Now let me go ahead and discuss a few of the main controls here first. A is jump, B is hammer. Uh, we will be introduced to a number of different paper abilities later, but I'll go ahead and show you guys this. This is kind of our main menu here. It shows all the stats we have, um, HP, FP, and BP, all our star points, all that stuff there in the bottom right. 
our gear, all we have right now is a mailbox and our journal, which as of right now just consists of our map. So we don't have too much right now, that's okay. What we'll go ahead and do here is just go ahead and save so we don't have to look at all that again. Alright, so there we go. You'll see these save blocks all the time throughout the game, so I would save... If I were you guys, I would save every, t every chance you get. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Okay, so we have this crazy looking critter. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, freak. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Ba 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 ha ha! Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. Alright, so these are going to be some of our main antagonists in the game. No, no! Stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream, really! Alright, so obviously being the good uh, citizen we are, we're going to come help this young lady here. Like, I'd go anywhere with, this, with smelly lunatics like you. Huh. Not like it. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Tomorrow is just looking oblivious. God, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to do... Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crump a bob Alright, so here we go, guys. This is our first battle in the game. Let's just get into it. Can't flee. Obviously, we can't flee. This is a very basic fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Alright, so this is a pretty basic battle here. Just kind of do what she says. Just jump and hammer. We'll just go ahead and start with hammer. Sweet. You know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Alright, so he's gonna do a little bit of damage to us, no big deal though. We'll go ahead and uh, jump on him this time. You've got him on the ropes, come on, keep wailing on him. Alright, so we guarded him, we guarded against him that time. And he's done. Like I said, very basic battle. You did it, you did it, yes, and you got star points. Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Alright, so she is right. Every time we win a battle, we will get a certain number of star points. When we get to 100, we level up. So that's pretty good. Buh, 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 ha, ha. Okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time. Alright, so here we're going to have an entire crowd of these crazy guys surrounding us. These guys are actually called the x Punish Punishing! Alright, so they're jumping all around, all over the place. Unfortunately, there is room for escape. Quick, this way! And we're out of there, guys. Phew, what a bunch of balloons. Let's just sneak out of here, what do you say? Alright, you can even come right back here in the middle of them, they won't do anything to you. Don't just keep doing that in Alright, we'll go ahead and enter our main section of those four here. Well, stop! So they were all attacking him instead. Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Ah, oh, crud, they bolted. So, very basic uh, scenario to get out of there. Now, we've entered our main section of road court. Now, wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. Uh-oh. Okay, that'll work. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean, like, that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me, I already... I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You look for the legendary, legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What you got there? 
So there's the map there. Oh my gosh, is isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Right, Hoggly Bogly. If it isn't Mario, if it, if it isn't Master Mario, so we know who this is. We got this guy a little beaten up back there. It's Toadsworth. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Hmm, ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you this wretched little bird? Hmm, ah, indeed. Prince Peach sent you a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Roadport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Prince Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a little spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not it. I leave this task to you. Alright, so obviously we're tasked with this once again. I believe I'll recline in that inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your find your HP running low. Just drop on in. Ho ho! Yes, anyway, look. The rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Alright, he's gone. Oh, uh, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescued? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she, where could she have gone when, then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure map on her own? Or the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know Mario, come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll find him, we'll find him your map. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. So, Bella has joined our party. She is our first uh, partner in the game. Gumbella's abilities, a primer. Okay, I'm not gonna read these. Um, this is Roadport Plaza. It's the center of town and the main visit center. So she can give you like all this information on the different areas you go to, um, and even on different um, locals and whatnot. All right. She also has the head bonk ability in um, battle, so that's pretty helpful. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to tell myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. All right, so she has joined our group. Now what we're gonna do first is actually come right back here. I know of something that we can already find back here. If we go right in here, here we can actually find our first star piece. Now the thing with these star pieces and also the shine surprise guys, I don't know where all of them are. So I may not collect all of them in this playthrough, but I do know where quite a few of them are. So we'll collect as many as I can find. I'm not sure if I have the time to go and look at videos of how to collect them all. I'm sure you guys uh, would probably just rather me stick to the core gameplay anyway. So what we're going to do here is just go ahead and save real quick once again. And then we'll go find Professor Franklin. Alright. So... Once again, I know where he is too. But first, come right over here. Here's another star piece. Alright, just keep walking this direction here. That guy will run into you every time. Hey, what's your beat, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. So as you can see, we just went from 100 to 50 coins, just like that. That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. All right, so let me go ahead and show you this little secret right here too, guys. If you actually come right back here, there is an area back here that you can access. Um, now, it's not really of any use to us right now, but it will be later. If you come right up there, though, there's another star piece. I actually did not even know this area of the game existed until probably a few years ago. Um, 
But that's that. Come right over here. This is Professor Frankly's house. And there he is. Oh, hi, there you are, Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes. You. Now you. Uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombrill. Er, it's not Eliza Goom. Herm. Herm. Aha, I've got it. You're Gumbella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Gumbella, a junior at Yugoon. Go Goombas! Of course, I remember you. Not to my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You though, you stuck out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor. He's Mario, you know, the famous one. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to this place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Reg Road Court. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study the very subject. But why do you types want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and skip all this. He pretty much talks forever. Just discussing the crystal stars uh, that we have to collect that are below, uh, well, that are all over the place, really. Alright, so here's our instructions now. Hold the magical map aloft the, before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. So the Thousand Year Door is the place where we will eventually place all the crystal stars. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it will show you where to find the crystal stars, and indeed it does. Alright. And she's just saying, we have the map. Go ahead and show it to Professor Frankly. Alright, we'll just go ahead and skip right through this. It's pretty much just saying what I've just explained. So what we're going to want to do now is come right out here. He'll actually break down this fence here. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? Haha. -ha. And it does. And as you can see right up there, there's a pipe that we can access. So the um, thousand year door is underground, so we will be traveling there shortly. Oh wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, don't you? And we do. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe? No thanks, we're good. And there we go. I think there's a... No, there's not. I thought there was a statue piece over there, but there's not. Now we can just come right over here, go down the wolf pipe here. This is the underground area of Rogueport. Uh, we're not going to save right there. But I, what I will do is actually go ahead and come right over here. As of right now, we cannot do too, too much in this area. But if we come right back here, we have another star piece. I think this door is locked. No, it's not. We can uh, access this place. And we'll get into this more later. I'll show you guys what that's all about there. Not to worry about it right now. It's too early in the game to really be worrying about that kind of thing. Alright, so in that case, we'll go ahead and come right over here. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what's a fine looking Goomba doing with a chubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get him out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. 
Alright, so here we have another little battle here. Uh, once again, very simple. Can't flee, but uh, I guess you could consider this like a mini boss in a way. Alright. So obviously we're not going to want to jump on the spike guy and we can't hammer the guy in the air. So that's pretty obvious, really. Go ahead and skip all that. So we can switch places to a lap for attack first, but we're going to go ahead and attack. We don't have any items at the moment. Here's a few of our tactics there. We'll just go ahead and um, jump on the paragumba here. And he's dead. We'll go ahead and head bump with Gumbella. And that guy's dead. Alright, so he'll do a little bit of damage to us, but not too big of a deal. We'll go ahead and hammer it. And just like that, 10 more star points for us. Very basic battle once again. Ow! Alright, so they're out of there. Ha, later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully and you can perform first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Alright, that's a good thing to keep in mind. Here we have this panel here, but we cannot do anything with it yet. That will be important later on though. What you're going to want to do now is come right over here, go down this pipe. Keep heading down this way. Run into a few enemies here. We'll go ahead and take care of these guys. Very basic. And sometimes they'll draw a coin or two, sometimes an item. It, it varies. As you can see, we're already up to 25 star points, so that's really good. Here we have ourselves a little item block. Let's go ahead and pick ourselves up a mushroom that um, replenishes uh, 5 HP, I believe. Alright, here's another one right here. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a fire flower, which is a method of attack. Alright, as you can see, that guy actually has an item with him. Hopefully, he'll drop it when we kill him. Well, he didn't, but that's okay. He did drop a few uh, FP for us. All right, we can go that way, but it's really of no use to us right now, so we're going to go right down this pipe. Come right down here. So we have that little guy there. Uh, you guys probably wondering what the heck that was. Um, that will be it for later. So we got it. We guard against that guy, and he did manage to get the first attack on us, but we were able to guard him. There we go, guys. Another battle successfully completed. Oh, they got us again. We were able to counter it there. Now, I'll go ahead and show you guys what the Fire Flower does, just to kind of show it off real quick. It'll attack all enemies and do three damage on them. So that's pretty helpful for these beginning enemies. Later on, it becomes uh, less effective because the enemy's defenses will eventually increase and their HP will also increase. So it gets to the point where it's not all that helpful, but uh, here early on it's very, very helpful. So if we press that blue switch there, it kind of reveals to us our little uh, staircase here. Now, you guys probably saw this right down here. There's a black key. We are going to want to pick that up because right over here we have something very important to take care of. Right in this doorway here. Go ahead and access this black chest here. Whoa! Hey, you. Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. 
Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. Oh. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident what we can that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat, I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, search for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out, definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. So we already have that? Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? All right. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, old great legendary hero. So obviously this is a pretty shady situation, but we do need to do this. Whoa, 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 you brought the key, yes. Oh man, I owe you big. All right, yes. Think, ha, think nothing. We he fools. So this guy is actually a bad guy, but really he doesn't really do anything bad to you. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. What? You think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Bugly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Wee hee hee hee. Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, and press Y in certain areas to turn into a paper airplane. Wee hee, trembling yet? Serve the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee hee hee hee. Oh, I can't help it but chortle. You're doomed. Not really. He pretty much just helped us out a lot. Alright, so. We can only access this um, ability on these panels here, which is the one we saw a minute ago. So it turns us into a paper airplane and we kind of like move back and forth. So, yes, we get it. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Alright, if you press B, return to normal, all that stuff, he's going to laugh a little bit more. So, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? Okay, so really, he just helped us out quite a bit because it allows you to access areas that you could not uh, access before that. So that is a necessary step in the game. So what we can do here is kind of fly right across here to this doorway. Now, we have finally reached the thousand year door. There it is, guys. Oh, Mario Gabella, look at that. It's a thousand year door spoken of in legends. I can't believe it's real. So legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. Indeed we will. Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Oh, I know what it is. Jump right up here, guys. Gonna have a little bit of a ritual here if you will so as you can see there's seven spots for the seven crystal stars professor what's going on the map will now rise above us and we will be shown where the first crystal star in the game is this is necessary to complete to begin every chapter And there it is, guys. That's our first crystal star. Over there at that castle there. The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. So yes, we have acquired our first special ability, ability Sweet Treat. Professor of the map. And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the location of the crystal stars appeared. 
And that shining light, it looks as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. So that is indeed what we will do. And I'll go ahead and probably just skip over all this text here. It's not really all that important. It's just kind of analyzing what we just learned. Uh, there is a ton of dialogue in this game, and a lot of it really isn't all that important. So we got ourselves a special move. That's pretty much what they're talking about. We'll go ahead and practice it out here. So you can guys see what it's all about. So you can see, there's our star power gauge right there. We have one star power at the moment. Alright, he's just explaining that. So we can go ahead and use it right here. This is Sweet Treat. This is the first ability you obtain in the game. You can throw these uh, models of the crystal stars here to uh, gain HP and FP. It is pretty helpful. Try not to hit the poison mushroom again because the first one will be like slow down for a second. So as you can see there, we got 6 HP for both me and Goombella and 5 FP. We didn't really need it there because we already had full uh, everything I think. So we're really not really not too big of a deal. Obviously we lost 1 SP there because we uh, used that. So as you can see we have ourselves a little bit of a crowd here now. So if we attack, we will uh, gain more star power from the audience. See how the gauge filled up a little bit there? And if you execute, execute stylish moves, um, more star power is received. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflecting the number of members in, the, in this audience. So we have 16 members of the audience right now. So you can see we executed a little stylish move there. Mario, this is your chance to hit big. So as you can see, we have two shine sprites up there in the top right corner. This will give you a third one 100% of the time, which fills up everything. Max HP, max SP, max SP. As you see, our crowd has now filled up as well. Fantastic, you match three icons. Well, it's not really that fantastic. Like I said, that happens every time. All right, so it's just uh, telling us about appeal and whatnot, the audience appeal. Great Goomba's ghost, Mario, look at your audience. So sometimes some of the audience members try to throw random objects at you. Does that guy have a hammer? He does. Okay. So what we can do here is actually press X, jump on him, and he'll get out of there, and that'll um, avoid that from happening. So that is the end of that little tutorial there, guys. Just wanted to show that off so you guys can get a good idea of that if you haven't didn't know anything about the game. All right, he's just discussing pretty much uh, that our first crystal will be located in Petal Meadows. All right, it's outside of Roadport, so we will have to do a little bit of traveling. All right. Oh yeah. Just talking about Princess Peach now. He's explaining that uh, she actually came to visit him at one point before Mario arrived. So he's saying we're off to Petal Meadows. He's giving us back the map. So he's going to stay here. We will need his help throughout the game, so we'll visit him quite often. And we're out of there, guys. Wait just a moment. Okay. He gave us the Power Smash, which is actually a badge we can um, activate. We don't need any explanation for that. Oh, crap. Accidentally... Okay, so this is pretty to uh, this is pretty easy to learn here. Just come right over here to badges, and we have applied the power smash badge. So usually, um, a lot of badges will let you do moves that are 
usually not accessible, so the power smash obviously allows you to do a more powerful hammer smash, uh, but it does require FP. But guys, I think that's going to go ahead and do it today. I think that's a pretty good introduction to the game. Uh, we'll go ahead and save one final time here. And um, like I said, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for today. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.